In today's video, we're going to do a little fishing out on Henry's Lake State Park in Idaho. When we booked our site at Henry's Lake State Park, we thought we were gonna be right on the water and we would be able to uh, wheel our kayaks uh, right from our site into the water to do the, our fishing. Unfortunately, that was not how it was. They were apologetic for us believing that that was the case. Um, the picture of this site showed us right on the waterfront when we booked it. And it also said lakefront. It is, it's a lake view. It's, it's not lake view. necessarily lakefront, but we made the best of it. So yeah. here you'll see that we took the, the kayaks down to the boat ramp with the Jeep, um, and we set up from there. Uh, we're very fortunate to have the Tully Hull Evaders. Um, it makes loading and, uh, loading and unloading so much more simpler. Um, we do have to set up each time unless we can get them set up and then use the wheelie down to the water. Um, as you'll see here, we have to put the batteries in, the motors in, uh, pop in the chairs. Seats. The seats. Fish poles, all that stuff. Um, so it's a little bit of a workout when when we have to, you know, load and unload from the Jeep. Not too bad. I mean, what do they say? You know, a bad day of fishing is better than a bad day in the office or a good day no, in the this office. Was, this was a bad day of fishing. <laughs> well, shush, you're not supposed to tell yet. So anyway, off we go. Um, it was calm. We had a great launch from the boat ramp there at the state park. It was beautiful when we first went out. It was, it was awesome. The mountain views were spectacular. Uh, and everything I read about uh, this area, the storms blow up really quick. The winds come say. down out of the mountains, <laughs> I guess. And uh, so we got out there and literally got, you know, a few hundred yards out into the lake and uh, the wind blew up. <laughs> It certainly did. Uh, uh, you'll see Randy uh, gets a little nervous, so he he throws on his life preserver. Well, the water you know. was like 52 degrees or something too, so <laughs> I was like, you know what, I better... But it's supposed to be a shallow lake. It's 15 feet, and yeah, if I turtle this so, thing, I'm gonna have a leg preserver on, so. Uh, I, as just because of the cold. I went out prepared just because I didn't know where I was, but that's okay. Yeah, whatever. So like the wind picked up out of here, and these crazy waves, look at this. Woo! <laughs> it's like two to threes out here. It's ridiculous. I'm about to get hooked. <laughs> Nuts. But I'm told that's what happens out here in Montana or wherever the hell we're at. I know. Uh, we told around for a little bit, trying to find an area out of the wind. Um, I thought it was best if we go into the wind and maybe get to the other side of the lake. But what is it, about eight square miles? That's eight, 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 uh, yeah, eight square miles. Four miles long, two miles wide. Um, so with the fighting the wind with our trolling motors, it just seemed like forever trying to get to the other side of the lake. Um, we did, I guess, veer to the left, I don't know what side that would have been, instead of continuing straight across and yeah, finally one found One side it. of the lake is like a cliff, so we got a little bit of shelter from the cliff side, but uh, we didn't catch any fish, so I don't know. You're not supposed to disclose that. Why not? <laughs> because they want to see us catch fish. We tried, we tried. We tried. I tried all different lures and um, I had a couple hits, but I wasn't able to land anything. We used the Colorado spoons. Uh, Randy had done a little bit of research and um, another YouTuber, I'm not sure who that was, had uh, great success with these spoons. So I had a couple hits. 
got me a little excited, kept it me was in, the, in the fight. It was um, miserable out there. It was so cold. The water was coming up over the boats, over the bow of the boats, and uh, splashing us. And it, it was, was just probably one of the worst nasty. days I've ever had fishing. So. But the views were beautiful the whole time we were out there. But I was glad to get back on land and get dry and warm. So. Yeah, we had a nice campfire and saw a good sunset that night. But anyway, a little bit about the lake. It is considered one of their um, sport fishing areas for um, trout. The, the trout, the cut, yellow, cut trout. yellowstone cutthroat trout is rainbow the, trout and brook trout. So they all average, I guess the average size is about 15 inches. So we're getting attacked by these weird bugs that are out here too that we Yeah, they're not really the mosquitoes, but I don't know what they, they are. They kind of land on you, but they don't bite that we know of. But <laughs> Hopefully they'll go away now. I think they're so, gone. All right, so the, yeah, there's some special rules with the lake. Uh, there's certain areas you can't fish within 100 yards of, like the fork, I believe, and uh, different things like that, nothing major. There's also a thing that we didn't know about. When you come into any of these Western states with any type of watercraft, kayaks, paddle boards, or whatever, they have to do an inspection on them. And I didn't, I, I blew by the first couple of They're them. They're mandatory. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not stopping at these. <laughs> and uh, what are they gonna look at? I'm like, it's a kayak. But uh, turns out they check for uh, parasitic bugs that they don't want brought into invasive, the lakes and uh, waterways. Species, they call yeah, invasive species near them. Speaking of bugs, the bugs are back. Okay. We finally did get an inspection when you get here because it's like a huge fine if you get caught out on the water without the inspection. And basically they give you a little certificate you carry with with you. So anybody from the other states coming this, into the Western states, just know that. What that was it, Wyoming, Montana, Wyoming, Montana Idaho. Idaho. That's where we've so been far, so far. Well, that's far. what we've seen in the, you know, you so gotta have sure it done. It's not a big deal. You go in there, they don't charge you anything. You go in there, you're there for about 10 minutes. They fill out some paperwork and they write down your your uh, VIN number, or a whole identification numbers and that's it. And they put you into a computer so they know if you don't go, if you get caught on the water. So, Henry's Lake was a beautiful area. We really enjoyed it here, but yeah, be warned if you come here, it is, the whole time we were here it was windy out of, two days out of the 10, was maybe a nice day. The other time was pretty much 20 to 30 mile an hour winds all day long, which makes it nice if it's hot, but it gets old after a oh, while. Oh yeah, temperature wise, it was gorgeous. And Mid 80s in the day. We've seen multiple days where fishermen would go out on the lake and by early morning, they had to leave the lake because the waves got so crazy. So your best time to fish is early morning or late, late afternoon, probably about uh, eight eight o'clock, eight nine o'clock at night. It stays it stays light here till about almost ten o'clock at night. So absolutely nine thirty, it's still light. You got to catch it early morning or uh, late 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 evening, or or something like that. Because even right now, as we're videoing this, we're on the south shore of the lake, and it's pretty uh, it's pretty windy out, as you can probably hear in the microphone. So yeah. No. So anyway, it was pretty adventurous, uh, needless to say. Uh, one of the worst fishing days we've either one of us have probably experienced. We're going to we go out. We'll try it again. We're going to go out and do some shore <laughs> fishing maybe later if the weather, if the wind will calm down a little bit. And we're also going to throw some, we're going to throw the drone up.
We hope you enjoyed this video. You know what to do. Click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in our next video.